All right, here's my basic test circuit. Microcontroller back here. I can toggle this LED with that switch. These two are blinking on and off. I have a couple of uh, in-channel MOSFETs that converts from the 3.3 volts to 9 volts on the CMOS circuit and the LEDs and so forth. Let's look at the schematic and go from there. All right, this circuit here is very straightforward. I want to emphasize Q1 and Q2. They are in-channel MOSFETs used to do, it does a voltage level shift between 5 or 3 volt microcontrollers versus higher voltage MOSFET circuits. The heart of this also is the CD4106 here and here. It's a Schmidt trigger input inverter. Let's note what we have. Well, I am using a pickaxe 08M2. This applies the same way for an Arduino, so I'm not going into the pickaxe on this. The deal is this. You're going to attach the source to the I.O. pin that you want to drive the rest of the circuit with. The gate has, through a 10K pull-up resistor has to go to VCC on the microcontroller, be it 5 or 3.3 volts. On the drain side of the MOSFET, you'll pull up the 10K to whatever the operating voltage is here. You are limited with these CMOS devices to 15 volts. It might be 18 for the CD4106A. So very simply, it's this. And this is non-inverting in this configuration. A high here is going to be a high here. There's going to be a low on the gate of Q2, and it's going to turn off. And the LED will be off. A low here is going to be a low here on the drains low on the source you'll have a low on the drain you'll have a high coming out of the cd4106 onto the gate of q2 it turns on led lights same thing down here as you saw in the video one led lights up and the other one turns off back and forth back and forth this is a variation of the previous circuit, except for the CMOS. I'm using a CD4093B. It is a two input NAND gate with also a built in Schmidt trigger for uh, clean switching and so forth. Again, a high in is going to be high out. High on source will be a high on the drain, invert it to a low. Q2 will turn off. A low in on the source will be a low out on the drain, which is inverted to a high. Switches on Q2, lights up LED1, and it switches back and forth, back and forth. High, low, low, high, and so forth. So that's what you're using. You're using this as a Schmidt trigger and also an inverter. And because all of these parts are CMOS, they interface without a lot of problems. No level conversion or anything of the type. All right, here's another variation of the above circuit. I'm just using one LED. This time I've connected the input MOSFET as an inverter. The output is gonna to go to the gate, source goes to ground, you have a 10K resistor to ground. You have a pull-up 10K resistor on the drain again. If you have a high end, you're going to have a low out, which is going to be inverted to a high on the gate of Q2 and switches on the LED. And so a high end, LED on. A low end here and LED on. So this is non-inverting. This is inverting. Here I've got a 3 or 5 volt microprocessor again, managing to operate a 9 volt CMOS MOSFET circuit. And that completes this basic introduction. Thank you for listening.
please click the like button and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.